you ready for the last bear story? Well, this time we're moving on to Scruffy Bear and the Lost Ball. And it's been created by Chris Wormel. Now, when you hear this sound, hello, you will know there will be a bear who's very scruffy. So, are you ready? Here we go. Scruffy Bear and the Lost Ball. One day, a red ball came flying through the air towards Scruffy Bear. So he kicked it. It flew straight up in the air and disappeared among the branches of an oak tree. Scruffy Bear waited for the ball to come down, but it didn't. Just then, four rabbits appeared. Have you seen a ball? They asked. A uh, ball? Scraped Scruffy Bear. What? Was it a red one? Yes, said the rabbits, nodding. A shiny new one. Oh, said Scruffy Bear a little guiltily. I think it may be up in this tree. They all looked up, waiting for the ball to come down. But it didn't. Must be caught among the branches, suggested Scruffy Bear. But I'll soon get it down. I'm an excellent tree climber. Actually, Scruffy Bear had never climbed a tree in his life. It was much harder than he thought. And when he'd only gone a little way up, the ground looked a very long way down. The rabbits were joined by six white mice, and they all looked up at Scruffy Bear, <coughs> balancing on a branch. What's that? called one of the rabbits. I can see something red among those leaves over there. Scruffy Bear saw the red thing too, and inched his way along the branch, being careful not to look down. He reached over and was about to grab the red thing when... <coughs> Oi! What are you doing? demanded the squirrel. Leave my tail alone! Scruffy Bear got such a shot and he, he, he very nearly fell off a branch. Oh, sorry! I was looking for a ball! he explained. I'm not a ball! snapped the squirrel. No, you're nothing like one! agreed Scruffy Bear, climbing back along the branch. A little higher up, Scruffy Bear found a hole in the trunk. Um, the ball must have gone in here! Have you found it yet? called one of the rabbits from below. Really? replied Scruffy Bear. He was just peering into the hole when... Who are you? pleaded Owl crossly. Poking your nose into my bedroom in the middle of the day too. Poor Scruffy Bear got such a shock he rolled right over the backwards and nearly fell off the branch. Sorry, he said, quickly climbing up further up the tree. Up and up he climbed, and now he was so high he could no longer see hear the rabbit or the mice, or even see the ground below. Ooh, he felt a bit giddy. At the very top of a tree he found a great nest of sticks. That ball must be in here for sure, he thought, and was just about to peep into the nest when... Beep! Beep! squawked a huge bird with a long sharp beak. It was a stork. You're after my eggs, aren't you? Oh, no, I'm not! protested Scruffy Bear. I'm after a ball. A ball? There aren't no bad balls here. Only eggs. But uh, are you sure? asked Scruffy Bear. How many eggs do you have? Why, four, of course. I can count, you know. Well, you have five now, said Scruffy Bear, and one of them is red. Red? cried the stork. That's not my egg. No, it's my ball, said Scruffy Bear. He was just picking up a ball from when one of the stork's eggs began to crack and out popped a baby stork. This time, Scruffy Bear did full vault. <laughs> down! 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 Faster and faster! And when he reached the ground, oh, he bounced. I uh, thought I'd come the quick way, he said. Oh, oh. He, as he bounced again and again, and again. That afternoon, they all played a game of football. Scruffy Bear and the six white mice against the rabbits. The rabbits won 24 goals to 23. Well, we hope you enjoyed this story of Scruffy Bear and the Lost Ball. And hopefully, we will be back in some more stories very soon. So I'll see you next time, viewers. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.